ओम शांति टुडे इट इज टुडे इज मुरली एंड देन यस टुडे इज मुरली ऑल्सो वॉज वेरी वेरी एजुकेटिव एंड बाबा टोल्ड अस जस्ट लाइक ही टेल्स अस इन एवरी मुरली many things that we need to know and many things that we need to keep in our awareness as we are moving through the day and through life now i was conducting the meditation on today's slogan and baba says if you want virtues and powers then be obedient yes so in the slogan today baba is saying that in order to claim a right to all virtues and all powers become obedient and i have heard in the sunday class evening class and which is specially for questions answers and also in other classes children ask this question very often how do i become powerful how do i become loveful how do i become peaceful and baba has given a very simple answer to that in the slogan you become obedient you just do as baba says and when you do as baba says then automatically these fruits and flowers of virtues and powers will grow so this is something that we need to pay attention now what is it that baba is talking to us today that we have to be obedient about or yesterday also baba said that said some things which we will revise now when i take yesterday's murli in particular i felt that that whole murli was about faith and baba talked about uh, the two wishes that brahma baba and brahma ma has for children but when i look at it in a different light what baba is teaching in yesterday's murli is complete faith in baba complete faith in the family and complete faith in drama and baba talked about faith in drama in the blessing and baba baba said that the foundation of faith is love so where there is love there is faith and when there is faith then if i understood the murli well faith finishes a lot of waste and negative thoughts faith finishes a lot of unwanted you know thinking and things so we are all most of our thoughts are wasteful or also negative and wherever there is faith then all this wastage of thought and word and action or this negative creation of thought word and action which takes place because of the lack of faith is avoided or averted yes and uh, baba says that since so baba gives one certificate to every child that children have faith in baba and have deep love and true love for baba and that's why even if sometimes in the murli baba says something to correct children or there is a there is a tone you know the strict tone also then children never question that murli children say that okay 
when Baba is speaking, it must be for our benefit. And Baba must be telling something for our benefit. And that's, that's the kind of thing that faith does. You know, faith never allows you to question the intention of the other one. And Baba says in the Murli that if we all want to be part of the rosary of victory, so Baba says there is this garland of love and in that garland of love, so garland of love is made of all the souls who love Baba deeply and truly and Baba says there's a big garland of love. So there are many souls who love Baba deeply and truly. But when it comes to the rosary of victory, so the rosary of victory is a rosary, it's not a garland, it's very small. <laughs> and Baba says, when it comes to souls who are actually victorious, and um, then the number comes to a very, very small number, and the rosary of victory is very small. And what is the secret for victory? Baba has given us the secret for becoming victorious. Sapal karo to sapalta pao. So if you are using everything well, if you are using everything for seva, then you will become victorious. That's the law of victory. So how do you become victorious? when you use everything for seva. And then Baba says, children intend to do seva also. Yes, but then still with so many children having such good intention to serve, what happens that we are not able to serve? So Baba says, they get caught up in ifs and buts. So whenever you start doing something good and you know in today's Murli Baba is saying that I am the only one who is altruistic. So Baba teaches us to be altruistic which is to selfless service but then and yes we children start doing selfless service also whether it is through our body, mind, wealth, whatever. But then what happens is, sooner or later we start getting caught up in ifs and buts. If this had not happened, I would have continued. But for this one behavior, I couldn't be tolerant to that soul anymore. <laughs> so, you know, we get caught up in this if and but. And Baba says that, if you want to move ahead in this rosary of victory, if you want to be victorious, come what may, that is, if you want to use your body, mind, wealth, time, energy, everything for seva and not get caught up in ifs and buts, then you have to have love in the family and faith in the family. Okay, so faith emerges from love and Baba says you have to have such love for the family just like you have love for Baba. And what does love for the family mean? Love for the family means this Brahmin family. And who is your, you know, uh, we are so many people sitting on the screen right now and all of us are part of the Brahmin family. We are, we are part of the group who has faith in Baba and who wants, who have good intentions and who want to make the world a better place, right? So this is the Brahmin family. And you cannot be a regular Murli student if you do not share the same objective as Baba. This is a law. 
<laughs> yes, so you cannot be a Murli student every day. You cannot be waking up at Amrit Vela every day if your aim is not the same as Baba's aim. So you can do it for some days, but you cannot do it every day for several years if your aim and Baba's aim doesn't match. So anybody who has been long enough into this group and who are part of the Brahmin family, it is understood that those souls share the aim that Baba has. And what is that aim? That aim is to make the world a more pure, peaceful and happy place. Yes. So do you all share that aim? Yes. So I already told you that if you didn't share that aim, you wouldn't be sitting here. And if you don't share that aim, then you won't be sitting here long. <laughs> so even if you're sitting here today, it you won't be sitting here after a year or two years if you don't share that aim. So Baba says that those Brahmin children who are uh, helping you on this path or the center that you are associated with or, you know, the, the whole structure in the Brahmin family is created out of souls who share Baba's aim. And Baba says, when they say something to you or you know, there is this engagement with the Brahmin family, then you also have to have a lot of love in them. And why do you have to have love for them? What makes them lovable is the fact that they belong to the ocean of love. So you see, they are surrendered to Baba and they have they have taken it upon themselves that they want to they want to belong to the ocean of love and they want to be in baba's service so baba says that makes them love worthy and baba says you should have pure love for these souls also and when you have pure love for these souls you will have faith in them and then you will be able to, with that faith, you will be able to work with them and do seva. If you don't have faith in the family, if you don't have faith in the center, if you don't have faith in the souls who are with you on this path, then you cannot be a part of seva. And you know, Baba's, Baba has told us that without the balance of remembrance and seva, you cannot become victorious. So if you are not able to do seva, you, you are interested in remembering Baba, but you're not interested in doing seva, it's because you don't have love for the family or faith in the family. And Baba says, when you have these two things, then you will do seva. And when you do seva, then the next thing that comes up is getting caught up in ifs and buts. And Baba says, you will be able to steer clear of all those hurdles of ifs and buts if you have this love for the family and faith in the family. And then when you are able to clear these hurdles and you are able to you know use your resources for everybody's benefit only then will you become a victorious soul yes. so i would just like to read out some things that baba said about faith in the family yesterday baba said that so what does true love do? True love finishes misunderstanding. 
Baba said this thing. So, you know, whenever there is, uh, so everything can be misunderstood. <laughs> there is nothing in this world that cannot be misunderstood. And have you seen uh, souls who don't have love for each other? They misunderstand practically every word and every action that the other person does. And Baba has told us the power of true love. And Baba says, true love finishes misunderstandings. And Baba says, in true love, there is a feeling that there is benefit in whatever Baba says. So, true love changes your attitude to not one which is which always feels that I am vulnerable and this person might be telling something which is to my disadvantage. But when you have true love, you always trust that whatever the other person is saying is for your benefit. And then the third thing is true love transforms feelings. So even if there is a feeling like you know, feelings come from our sanskars. Yes, so um, let me give you a very simple example. When I came to the yagya, I was very lazy. So whenever somebody gave me some seva, I really felt very, uh, you know, very, I didn't like that. So I felt... I felt not good about them giving me seva because I was very lazy. So I always thought, you know, this person doesn't want to do seva himself, so he's giving me. So I had that thought because I was lazy. But, you know, that feeling that this is, this is something that that person wants from me and they're using me or they are kind of, you know, putting a burden on me. This feeling transformed because of love. And because of love, I was able to see through that feeling. And I was able to see clearly that it's not that if I don't do this seva, this seva would suffer. It's not like that. The person who is asking me to do the seva is capable enough, fully capable to do that seva himself. But he's still giving this to me as an opportunity so that I, you know, I make good some of my energy and I use it for seva and it gives me a spiritual earning. But I don't think this would have been possible and I would have been um, able to overcome my feelings and consequently my son's scars if I did not have that love and faith in that relationship. So you see that when you have a certain son scar, those son scars give you a certain feeling in a situation and that feeling determines your action and usually that action uh, is is very uh, you know it it gives rise to an action which is in consonance with that sanskar and therefore it prevents you from changing itself so a sanskar can actually prevent you from changing itself. Yes, so let me give you a very simple example. Let's take this example of trust and mistrust. So if you don't have this sanskar of trust, then when you come to Baba, Maya will make you mistrust Baba, Baba's intention, and even if not Baba's intention, the intention of the Brahmin family and other stuff. But it's not what's their reality. It's your reality, your sanskar of mistrust, 
which is stopping you from creating an atmosphere of trust there. And then those feelings that, you know, you can't trust everybody, this kind of a feeling will prevent you from participating completely and with an open heart. And if you don't participate openly and participate with an open heart, then how can you overcome the feelings of mistrust? So you need to experiment in order to experience, but that sanskar of mistrust will protect itself by, you know, giving you these feelings that you cannot open yourself up and you cannot participate. So these are the kinds of things that our feelings are doing to us. And Baba says, with this love and faith, you can transform your feelings. And when you transform your feelings, then you will be able to arrive at a feeling which, which is arrived at by working through those feelings. And then that feeling will change your sanskar. So, Baba says, Baba does that for us and we need to also understand that Baba has given us the Brahmin family, which is, which is an integral part of our spiritual practice. So, it cannot be only Baba. There, we want to engage with Baba, we want to be with Baba, but then what is our engagement with the Brahmin family? And is it only one way or is it two way? And if this engagement has to be two way, then the trust has to be two way and the love has to be two way. It cannot be only that your Didi keeps loving you and you don't love her back. Okay, so that trust and that love has to be two way. Because when your Didi loves you, she gets the prize for loving you. And you know, the when you love someone, you become loveful. That's the prize she gets. But then if you don't love her back the same way, if you don't, if you don't do the same thing that she does in the love of Baba, then you will not get the benefit of it. So this is why Baba is teaching us to surrender and surrender requires deep love and deep faith. So Baba is saying in this Murli that this is the one blockage that's stopping this whole Brahmin family from growth. And Baba says you need to love the family, you need to love your instruments you need to love your center as much as you love Baba and then there'll be trust and faith and there'll be no scope for misunderstanding and then there'll be this feeling that whatever they are doing I trust that it is for my benefit even if I'm getting a direction which I don't understand you know even if I feel that uh, my circumstances are such that I'm not able to obey this direction. So, okay, I will tell them to excuse me that I can't obey this direction, but I don't create a question mark about that direction. So, you, you trust that that's for your benefit. Now, Baba says that love is so great that whether you did something or someone else did something, the same happiness is experienced in both situations. Yes, and um, in yesterday's uh, class in the evening, Bhai was giving a very beautiful example that sometimes, you know, there is a program and then there is some brother or sister who has made the maximum effort um, to get that program organized. And then when it is time for the toli, 
then everybody gets the tolly and when the turn of that brother or sister comes up the tolly is over <laughs> so no tolly for <laughs> that brother or sister <laughs> and then so if those if that soul is really you know in love with baba then they feel okay even if the other person ate it's okay it's as good as i ate the tolly <laughs> so baba says even if somebody takes the credit or somebody is the face of a program or somebody gets the tolly and the appreciation but you don't get it you don't mind because you love the family so even if somebody got it you feel like you got it so that's love and you are only interested that baba's work is getting done and whatever baba is baba is hoping from children is getting done and that's enough you don't mind who is getting the credit and baba says bab dada was always happy seeing the children move forward because of that love and you see brahma baba always had this intention that the children should move more forward than me so <laughs> so you know i always think about this thing that you want others to do well but you don't want them to do better than you <laughs> so you want them to grow you want them to move forward but you don't want them to move more ahead than you that's that's the kind of thought process we have and i will tell you one incident it's about a parent and there was this father and um it was very interesting for me so i'm sharing it with you there was this father and he came to me and he said that um he he doesn't like um the way things are today and now that his son is handling the business he doesn't like the way things are going now so i said is the business suffering is the income less than earlier so he said no it's getting better then i said is he using some unethical methods which he shouldn't or he is engaging in something that will end up end him in trouble so he said no it's not like that so i said what is it then then he said it's just that he is uh, not respecting me anymore and he says that my ways are obsolete and he can do better than me so i don't like the way things are and and he told me in my heart i want him to fail and come to me on his knees so that he understands that i know better than him and he told me didi i am telling you something that is coming into my heart i want to stop it i don't want these feelings i understand what you're talking about good wishes and good feelings but i don't know as soon as my son has started doing better than me and he has a certain arrogance about it and that arrogance is hitting me so hard that i don't want him to do well anymore and do you understand how ego can work this way and here baba is talking about you know not even a family where there is blood relationship but a family where you know we are only connected through this divine connection with baba and baba says even if somebody is doing better than you and even if that one is being arrogant about it <laughs> so do you understand that if somebody is doing better they can get arrogant but you don't have to you still have to continue you know nurturing them enough so that they work on their arrogance they don't work on their success so you know they sometimes you start questioning their success because 
you are not able to handle their arrogance because it is triggering your body consciousness inside. But Baba says, if you just maintain that good wishes and that love for that soul, then you could pull them down from this arrogant stance and you could make them be in a place where they are successful and humble. But first you have to work on yourself enough to do that. And Baba says that this is what true love can do. If you really love someone, in the, if you really love the family, then even if they have skills and they are so talented that they are moving forward faster than you, you can handle that and you can you know, always pull them to a place of humility also through your humility. Because if you want to make someone virtuous, the only way to do that is be, be an embodiment of that virtue. So if you are still humble, then even if they are arrogant, they will be pulled down to humility after some time. Or raised to humility, maybe not pulled down to humility. So this is something that Baba says. And then Baba says, love finishes that consciousness of mine. Whatever you did, I did. And whatever I did, you also did. So it doesn't matter who did. It's just that um, that consciousness of mine gets over. And then Baba says, where there is love, then no matter how ordinary the words are that are spoken. So even if somebody is not using very flowery language, very ordinary words, and they are trying to communicate something, then Baba says, or with whatever right they are spoken, you don't feel them to be like that. You would never feel, why did this one say this? So you don't question why, you just see the intention behind it. Sometimes, you know, um, so just like I talked about working through your sanskars, even if, you know, you are dealing with a soul, you will be able to see their sanskar and their intention as two different things very clearly. And you will be able to see through their sanskar and into their intention. So even if they are saying something very bluntly, you don't mind the bluntness, you just see what they intend to tell you. Yes, and you, you don't ask why can't they use a sweeter method or a better method. You just trust that it's okay even if they, their method is not accurate. What they are trying to tell you is accurate and that's okay. And then where there is love, there will definitely be faith. So Baba has told this about love for Baba, love for the family and love for um, so the and faith and love for Baba and the family also and why this so that you can together do seva and only with seva will you become victorious if you don't use your resources there's no victory coming so and for that you need trust and faith in the family which comes from love now Baba also talked about faith in the drama and uh, what is faith in the drama baba said that those who have the experience of the point of the drama remain constantly stable in the stage of a detached observer and experience the stage of being constant unshakable and immovable Souls who are experienced in the point of the drama will not see anything bad in something that is bad, but will only see the goodness. 
that is they will see a way for self benefit the account of any loss has now finished you are the children of the benefactor father this is the benevolent age with the authority of this knowledge and experience become unshakable and immovable so baba says so if you consider drama to be your friend baba has given us the knowledge that the drama is for your benefit yes we got the knowledge that the drama is kalyan kari the drama is benevolent but baba says if you really believe this that the drama is benevolent then you won't doubt any scene in the drama you won't question any scene in the drama and you would believe that this is for my benefit and if you do that then a lot of your thought and energy that is wasted in processing the scene will be saved so you know there is a it is what it is and it has to be dealt with right every situation is what it is and it has to be dealt with that's the reality but then we uh we spend a lot of time and energy and thought processing what it is how it is because we don't believe it we are shocked we don't like it we we want to change it so all those feelings that come up when you are being faced with a scene and all that processing you have to do until you arrive at a point where you say it is what it is and i have to deal with it ultimately you arrive with it arrive at it but then all that time and thought and energy which is wasted in wasted in all this processing will be saved if you have faith in the drama and when you have faith that okay whatever it is it is for my benefit then you are not shocked you are not afraid you are not sad you are not questioning and then you just ask yourself one question okay what what does it need me to do and then you do it and it's over so baba says just like baba told you to have love for baba and love for the family similarly love for the drama also and faith in the drama and of course everything is based on knowledge that baba is giving you earlier we didn't have uh, the knowledge of baba so we didn't have love for baba we didn't have knowledge that this is my family this is the family i have been with since the beginning of the golden age we didn't have that knowledge we didn't know that these are the souls that wish more the best for me so we didn't have love for them we had love for the temporary family more than this family but now that we have the knowledge we have we are developing the love for this family and then baba says similarly develop love for every scene of the drama based on the knowledge that the drama is for your benefit so baba is giving us the knowledge of everything and the knowledge tells us that this is my true family actually the drama is beneficial and actually baba is the only one who is my well wisher so based on this knowledge let's develop the love and faith which saves us which saves us from all these questions of if and but and why and why so and then it makes our journey very easy not wasting our time and thought okay now in today's murli baba is also talking about one is baba is talking about altruistic service and baba says just like i am doing altruistic service you also do that yes don't get caught up in if and but and do that just like i am doing it and then baba today says don't give anyone sorrow you are the children of the ocean of happiness and you are the children of that one 
who takes away everybody's sorrow and gives happiness. So you cannot give anyone sorrow. Now let's understand, I told you that everyone, everyone feels based on their sanskar. So feelings are based on sanskar. So sometimes, you know, you might be giving a diamond to somebody, but then they feel like you gave them a stone because they don't realize that's a diamond and a diamond and a stone are different. <laughs> and they might say, why are you throwing stones at me? But that's because they don't know. So there is one sorrow that comes from their sanskar and they're not knowing. And Baba, we cannot avoid that. So Baba is not talking about that. Baba is talking about not genuinely giving sorrow and to anybody. And what is truly called not giving sorrow? So every soul needs knowledge, purity, peace, love, happiness, bliss and power. And when you give something which is not knowledgeful, loveful, peaceful, blissful, pure or powerful, that's giving sorrow. So when you are giving a thought, a vibration, a word, an action, which is not in consonance with the original quality of that soul, then that soul will take it and suffer because of that. So let your thoughts, your vibration, your words and your actions be knowledgeful, pure, peaceful, loveful, happy, blissful and powerful. That's what Baba means by not giving sorrow. Okay. Om Shanti.